Hey everyone, this is Wei. This is another video on how you can draw what you see or basically to uh, be able to draw accurately. Now if your drawings are coming out skewed or you know your proportion tends to be wrong, then the problem uh, might not be your drawing skill, it's actually uh, you're, you're seeing things wrong or you know you're not very sensitive to spacing and angles. So this is a really good exercise that you should do and it will help train your eyes to be able to see all those things. And once you can see it correctly, then you can, you know, translate it onto paper. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process as we go. All right, so I'm just going to jump right in and starting on the left side again, I'm going to do the, where the shoulders are, make a little mark there. Um, now for this one, um, the reference image is very angular, so we're going to try to uh, have a little fun with how we measure. So from here, I'm going to measure, you know, her arm coming in down at that angle. Now I'm, I'm drawing in red because the reference image is black so, so that way you can see it better. And then from here, go from here, Let's see shoulder and that we'll just just draw that in. Okay, then we gotta go straight down here, shoulder, I mean the elbow, angle straight down this way. This one tapers in a little bit, and then have the wrist. Now, how far does the wrist go? Now, if we measure from here, this point, right, to this point, it's kind of like that angle. So we can do kind of like well, that's close enough, and then that's where it's gonna be the wrist going to be. And we can come right in. Now, from here, we can, you know, here's the angle here. Now from here, um, this little corset area, this little angle goes from there, right? So we kind of measured that. So we kind of know it's maybe around there. Okay, and then we're going to go in this way. Then we're going to continue on this edge, come straight down. <clears throat> then it's going to pinch right around here, midway. Okay, so we got to get that. Now we have a hand. Straight in with the fingers right around here. Now we'll continue with this edge and we're just going to go straight down. This angle right here. This angle. Let's see this, this. From here, if you go straight down, it's right around there. So the dress will be around here. And we're going to continue down with the legs. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back to the shoulders. Um, we're going to continue on the left edge here, the hair, hair. Now, you can measure things like this from like from this point to this point. You can see that angle, right? It's almost an extension of, of where the arms are. So we can go straight up like this. And somewhere in here, it's going to be, you know, where that portion of the hair is. Okay, so it's going to be right around there. So once you have this, then you can draw that, right? So there, hair. Okay, now the hair, hair. I'm, I'm measuring this distance here. It's less than that distance, right? So this distance is less. This is less right here. So approximately, it's, it's right around there. So I'm gonna go straight in. Now here we can do. This starts right around there. This, and then we can do this angle, obviously. Okay, we're going to slant straight up, and then we can measure, well, let's see, am I running out of things to measure, but I'm just not looking hard enough. Okay, we, we're going to go straight down this way, okay, so we're going to do the corset in the middle, come down, then where our finger is right here, right, that goes to the corner, I mean the, the little angle there, just go straight up this way, and go this way, okay. Now this distance is going to be a little bit hard to get. Um, you measure here to here, this one's a little bit wider, so you can imagine if this is this, it'll probably be right around there. And here, this is what I mean with these kind of angular drawings, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of angles, like I'm actually seeing from here to here, you know, it's this angle, this, this hole with a, with a hip bumps up right there. So I can actually use that 
if I can get the angle correct. All right, so I can draw that. Now, obviously, if I don't get this angle correct, then it's going to be off, right? But um, you just got to work with what you have. I mean, it might be off. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter, but it's just, it's just practice, right? Okay, so I, I get this here. Okay, so now I got the hip here. So we can come straight down this way, down this way. <clears throat> so let's go back up to this area here. All right, so here, here, this angle is almost horizontal, maybe slightly lower, and this is going to connect here, and from here it's going to start up, upwards, okay, here, here, see there's this little circle here, curly shape here, and we can do right around there, that might be off, but again, that's because I don't have a lot of reference. I mean, I'm just seeing like from this distance here, this distance is almost equal. So here to here. That straight down. Now here I can check it, see if I got the shoulder correct. So this goes straight down this way. So it goes straight down this way. Right, so I'm probably a little bit off. Or more than a little bit. Okay, so that's the shoulder. Armpit goes up. Here, let's see how we're going to measure this one. Well, we can measure the angle from here to here. And this this area here is going to be a little bit tricky to measure. Maybe around there. And sometimes, you know, if, if you're not really sure, you know, you just kind of get as close as you can and just move on. Because if it's not correct, you're going to find out later anyways, right? But it's just all very good practice. So this here, you can I can see if it goes straight up. Um, the elbow is a little bit lower, so if I go straight up, elbow is going to be right around here. <clears throat> okay, so now I have that straight down this way, and this is almost these two lines right here is almost parallel, right? But it pinches in a little bit more. So this way, then this, you can see it. This is almost like a little rectangular shape, so you can measure that here. So now you have the wrists where the wrists are. Your hands coming down. This is gonna go down. Knuckles and then this way. Okay, so I'm back to the dress. So let's do this. We're gonna do this line first. From here to measure from here to here. So this to this. Straight down this way. Now of course there's a curvature here, right? But now we can do that easily because we have the angle. So I curve in like that. And then we go back to here, and this area right here, we can measure from here to here, actually. So this is almost parallel, these two lines. If you, so from here to here. So now we know a little leg here starts here, thigh. So it's going to come straight down. And then from here, now how do you get this angle? You, you, you can look at the arm, I suppose. You can go from you know, the corner of the wrist. If you go straight down, right, that's where you get this angle. So you go straight down from the wrist, go straight here. Uh, I, got, I got the wrong angle, I think it should be a little bit flatter. So from here, then we can get that just straight down. And then her dress, pretty much almost vertical, but not quite right. Something like that comes out. It's not the block. Shadows. Okay. Back to her. The head's a little bit difficult. This. It usually takes a little bit more time, so I might just skip it. Okay. So her uh, jawline. If you look at the jawline, it's, if you look at this shape, it's almost like a box, you know, like a slightly rectangular, right? So we can measure that like that. So now we know her jawline is right around that area. Okay. And then we can measure this. Right. And then her hair this way, this way. Okay. So you can see the process. I mean, just start somewhere, you know, usually at the shoulder, somewhere in the left. And then just start working your way down. And you see these little little angles, and you make uh, you make connections between like even from here to here, right? Just to get this angle, and that's what I'm doing here. Um, 
So you start to see, you know, just little reference points pop up as you as you as you're doing it, and and that's how you can get your uh, your sketches a little bit more accurate. And it's very good practice because it really helps to work your eye, and you start to see things a little bit differently. Being able to, you know, once you're able to make comparisons between the different, you know, shapes that you see. So from here, if you, so you get the idea. All right, so let's check uh, how accurate I got uh, this drawing to be. So I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm gonna move it to the side. Now I know I drawn it a little bit bigger than uh, than the reference, so I'm gonna have to scale this up. Scale it. Let's see, I was trying to match the shoulders at first, so. I'll match that area first. Okay. Alright, so it's right around there. So, checking the lines, I got pretty close in some areas. I got, you know, most of the angles uh, pretty good. Alright, but the hip right here, obviously a little bit, a little bit too wide again. Here's a little bit too wide. But overall, I mean, it's, it's it's pretty good for a first pass. I mean, you can always go in and, and correct these shapes. So that's the process. Uh, just start on the left side of your right-handed and just work toward your right. Um, just you know, start by measuring angles and, and seeing relationships. And because this one, you know, there's a lot of angular features, I was able to use that and and uh, you know, try to measure that way by you know, using points everywhere, you know, anywhere they can. Where, wherever you can find it and just you know go from there so give this uh, method a shot and you know see how it goes